Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Postman Pat and the Greendale Rocket. We are now on level 3A, where we have the fine Reverend Tims. And you're probably wondering why I went left first. Well, it's because I had to grab all of this. Six stamps, a letter, and a parcel. These eight things are easy to miss if you don't know where to look, and especially if you don't know to go to the left at the beginning of the level. Now that we collected all those things, we can finally go through the level proper and start going down these steps and picking up some more stamps and another parcel before we take control of Jess again. Here, we're going to have to make our little way to the right. You don't have to pick these two stamps up above the platform as Jess if you don't want to. You'll be getting them as Pat anyway, but I might as well. Below that platform I was just on is this little tunnel to the right here. And you want to be sure that you grab everything, including the parcel. You have to jump up to grab the parcel before you hit the switch. Because once you hit that switch, control is going back to Pat and you cannot switch back to Jess. Unless you manage to find like a puddle of water and you didn't, well, too late now. But you're better off going through all that in one shot. Thankfully you can pause the game and begin again if you need to. Anyway, we're doing some more hopping on the windowsills and whatnot to pick up even more collectibles. And there's a pretty nasty jump coming up. You want to be close to the edge here. Jump to the right and keep holding right and you'll get all those things. If you mess that up, you won't be able to get all those things again. Now, we can go to Jess again and we will have to use Jess to continue on. But when we switch to Jess, we have to go to the left here to go through this tunnel to pick up a letter and a parcel. Again, two more easy to miss items. From here, you want to climb up the drain pipe with up on the control pad, pick up some more things, and then hit the switch to make this platform go up and down. Postman Pat will whistle to you, signaling that you have regained control of him, and you'll be able to pick up everything on the right and move this green clothes hamper off the windowsill. You will need to do this in order to get further into the level. All you have to do is just move into it with the control pad. Just keep walking to it and you'll push it. And you want to push it all the way to the right so you can get up here, hit this continue point, and play as Jess again. From here, go to the left, climb up this drain pipe. Not only will we be on top of the house, but we will have to jump on some platforms as Jess. Be sure the platforms are as close to you as possible. That way you can make it down here. And you can go to the left as Jess and pick up those two letters, but you're going to be picking them up as Postman Pat anyway. To the right of where you land is the switch. Hit it with Jess. And Postman Pat will be able to take a moving inner tube over the pool to another tinner tube to the platform that we just got to the switch with with Jess and then we'll finally make it onto the other side of the pool a little more collectible grabbing here also be sure that your heels are on the edge of the windowsill before you jump to the right and grab that letter there and when we hit this red switch this platform goes down but when we get off the red switch it goes back up that platform acts a little differently you have to have something on the platform to weigh it down and keep it down that's where this green clothes hamper that we just found comes in once we move it onto the switch the platform stays down forever and we have picked up all 85 stamps 15 parcels and 25 letters and we have found Reverend Tim. Present, Postman Pat, Pink Flower, Jess. 
And now it's time to cast the drops. There are droplets of water coming down from the ceiling. And we have to catch 50 of them with our water bucket. It starts out slow. Some of the drops are faster than others. But in case droplets are two different speeds, they're not going to be that far away from each other until you catch at least 20 drops. Once you catch 20, the droplets will start following, falling up on the screen just wherever. Thankfully, if you know what you're doing and you keep a good eye on the screen, you should be able to collect all 50 drops without missing a single one with at least 14 seconds to spare. So you can't mess up too much on this game. It's a little forgiving. But the better you are at catching these drops, the better this game is going to be. And we have picked up 50 water droplets and we have made our way through level 3B. Password, parcel, present, Jess, present. Now it is on to level 3C, where we have to find Police Constable Archer Selby. And we have a new hazard here, the puddles of water. Some are bigger than others. Running into them will slow your lorry down. But thankfully, you should be used to these stages by now, as well as dodging manholes that are now showing up. And you should have a good idea of where your lorry can and can't go on the road. Near the end, you'll have to drive between cones like so in order to make it to goal will you find Police Constable Selby. And we get our third mystery item of the game, which is a police whistle. I'm guessing that whistle is for the conductor. Since AJ is manning the Greendale rocket. Password is Postman Pat, present, mailbag, pink flower. And now it is time for level 4A, where we have the find Dorothy and Alf Thompson. Just like in level 3A, you want to go to the left to find some easy-to-miss collectibles. Two stamps, a letter, and a parcel. And you're going to have the way here to get on this platform. From there, you're going to have to walk across tree branches to avoid some of the water pits that are here. Thankfully, you can jump over one of them, but there's like one to the left there that you won't be able to jump over. And now we've dropped down, but once you've dropped down, be sure to take some time to go to the left because, well, easy miss collectibles if you took all of the high road there, like I just did. And from here, we can continue on with the stage. And of course, we're going to have to do some more platforming, which means you better be ready to jump off the edges of the branches Assuming you reach the edges, of course, you want to be sure that you're on the edge before you jump. So that way you don't end up at back at the beginning of the stage like I did. Alright, we should be close to where we left off. This time we want to be more careful as we make our way through the trees here. Be sure to jump on the edge. 
that way you can reach other branches and collect more things. And from here, drop down and grab all the stamps. And there's no way to go to the left, so that was one big water pit this time around. And from here, we'll finally be able to hit a continue point. We'll still be collecting a few more collectibles as we make our way through here. Don't forget to get on top of this house so you can pick up some letters and a parcel. Then get back on the branches and collect everything else that you need to collect. And there's nothing to the left there, so you might as well go ahead and go to the right. Be sure to collect all the stamps because you won't be able to go back past this point. And if you go to the left after that long drop, you'll meet Jess again. When you take control of Jess, jump over the switch. Don't just jump on the switch as soon as you see it. Because you're going to miss a stamp, a letter, and a parcel if you don't. And if you hit the switch before you grab those things, again, control will revert back to Pat and you won't be able to switch back to Jess. This platform will finally be able to move around. We just need to move this bale of hay to get to it. But now that that platform is moving around, we can finally continue with more of level 4A. After collecting a few stamps here, we wait for the platform to reach its highest point, and then we jump to the right and get up here. After grabbing a few stamps, we make our way to the right, and also to the left. Don't want to miss those stamps and that letter there. And that click means we just passed the checkpoint, which means we can hit this switch, cause this platform to go down, and we can actually switch back to Jess again. Because we're gonna need Jess to get even further into the level. Climb up the power pole, grab everything that you can, and then you'll jump all the way down here and to the left is a switch. Once Jess stands on the switch, this second platform will go down. And we'll be able to continue with the level. I thought that I could actually jump into that pool of water, but I couldn't. I decided against it. But I jumped back into it anyway. To see if there's anything to the left of where I got sent back from, and there wasn't, so we don't have to worry about missing anything. But of course because we got sent back to continue point before we could reach the next one, we're going to have to do this part with Jess the Cat all over again, which I don't really mind. So once again. It's up the power pole we go, and then we cross the power pole over to the right, and then we hit the switch, and then we'll finally continue on with the rest of the level. Now we can hit another checkpoint. And we'll start here in case we fall into some water again. And you can see that there are some stamps up there. We've got to find a way to get up there first before we can finally grab all those stamps. Thankfully, we do manage to find a way. There's a red switch there. We're going to have to move that bale of hay onto it in order to get it to do whatever it does. But for right now, let's go to the left and pick up some more collectibles.
Now it's time to push the bale of hay downwards. And onto the switch so we can make this lily pad move. This one will stay in place as we make our way to the right, all the way to the other side of this pool. You want to be very careful with the last lily pad. Because you're not careful, you can fall through the edge of that last platform and end up in the drink, and then you're going to have to do all this again. Thankfully, when you get sent back to a checkpoint, anything you found between the checkpoint you last hit and the next one, or in this case the end of the level because we're pretty much at the end, stays collected so you don't have to worry about collecting it ever again. All you have to do is worry about getting back to where you were before you got sent back to the last continue point you touched. And once again, I thought I could make that platform from here. Sadly, I could not. Thankfully, all we need to do now is just get up here, push the hay bale a third time, and trigger the switch a third time. This time around, I stuck around at the edge of the lily pad platform, and then I was able to make it. So we finally collected everything, and we managed to make it to the end. Password is red mailbag, pink flower, pink flower, present. And for level 4B, we have to catch the butterflies. We'll be playing as Jess, and we'll be running and jumping around to collect 80 butterflies. There are only 80 in the entire section, so you want to make sure you don't miss a single one. Thankfully, they are very easy to get, and it's very easy to pay attention to what's going on the stage so that you can't accidentally fall into a pool of water and be forced to start this whole section over. We're jumping between three sections of water here, but they're short enough for Jess to jump over, all three of them. Of course, you're going to have to jump onto some branches too in order to reach some of these. And thankfully, the ones that require jumping onto a branch aren't exactly that hard. There is one branch near the end that you're going to have to wait to jump onto, and this is the one. Here you're going to have to wait for the lower branch to show up before you can jump on it, and then jump through the one that's higher on the left in order to get those butterflies. Now in case you mess this up, you can always go back to the lower branch on the left, because once you walk past the edge of this branch right here, you'll complete the level. And if you didn't collect all 80, you would have had to start all over again. Password is Postman Pat, Jess, Red Mailbag, Present. And for level 4C, we need to find Ted. We have a minute to do this in. And thankfully, if you know what you're doing, this isn't too hard. You may accidentally slow yourself down by holding the control pad towards a wall that you can't go past because, well, you've gone as far up or down as you could. But other than that, the difficulty at dodging stuff is the same as it ever was. Just pay attention to where you can go when you should be alright. Shouldn't have too much longer to go through this 
stage now. And there we go, we found Ted. And for finding Ted, we get our fourth mystery item, which is a wrench. We have just one more level and one more mystery item to go. Password is Jess, Parcel, Jess, Postman, Pat. Join me next time for the fifth level as well as the finale of Postman, Pat, and the Greensdale Rocket for the Game Boy Advance. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!